At Seismic, I, uh, I work with our client agency and partners along the West Coast and in the South Central regions. So Texas, which is a, a really big booming market right now, I've actually been spending a lot of time there. Um, uh, I'm kind of a dual role, more sales and evangelist, if you will, um, internally and externally. So on the internal side, I work with uh, our sellers, really making sure they're aware um, of, of where, uh, where video sits in the marketplace. Um, so they're going to market with, with the right intelligence uh, and speaking that, uh, that story, um, coupled with the fact of uh, selling our, our solutions and what we can do uh, to help increase campaign performance. Um, and then externally, uh, on the evangelist side, I'm really going out and working with these different agencies and brands um, with the same kind of message, making sure that they're, uh, they're aware of where the market's at right now from a video uh, perspective and rich media perspective. Um, but right now, I do spend a good amount of my time uh, in, the video, uh, in the video space, um, just because that's where a lot of the demand is. Um, but, uh, but at our core, uh, Seismic, um, from the I Wonder days, the Media Mind days, Unicast days, we put all these companies into one, now Seismic. Um, you know, for the last 15 years, we've been, we've been doing this. I Wonder was the first uh, vendor to do a, uh, a video enriched media unit. Um, media Mind, the first to do a floating ad. So uh, we've got a really deep legacy and heritage in that space. Um, and with all these acquisitions that have happened over the years to create Seismic, uh, some of that message has, has been uh, maybe forgotten. So my job is to really go out there and make sure the market's aware of that and, uh, and understanding what we can really do to help, help their, um, their campaigns um, perform better. The, the programmatic side, I mean, big buzzword right now. Um, there's, uh, I don't think the supply is keeping up with the demand. So. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of companies out there. A few that we plug into, uh, being this open ad stack, we can you know we will plug into who the brand or agency wants. Um, but there's I don't think there's enough of that high quality inventory out there yet, especially programmatically on the display side. It's there, um, but on the uh, on the video side, there's not that much. Um, so it poses a challenge uh, from a. From a vendor, um, our job is fueling that uh, that video out there, um, so we can do it. Uh, we can get your your video to that end consumer. It's just a matter of reaching them in a premium space that uh, I don't think there's enough of it out there just yet. Um, and then on top of that is uh, the whole verification and viewability uh, conversation that's going on in addition to. Uh, to programmatic. I think the opportunity to obviously network with, uh, with some key stakeholders and decision makers um, on the agency and brand side is, is certainly a plus coming from the vendor side and, and even working um, or networking with uh, the other vendors is, is always great just to kind of collaborate and see what those guys are doing because again Seismic you know we pride ourselves on our, on our open ad stack initiative so we plug into a lot of these uh, these other vendors they may be deemed competitors um, but we also work with them uh, in order to uh, uh, you know to, to gain business um, and maximize our revenue uh, so it's good. I really, I really enjoy working or networking, I should say, with uh, with with all the folks, folks that are here. Uh, and again, the view isn't uh, so bad either.